If you've ever looped in Risk of Rain 2, you've probably run into one of these guys. One of, if not the most terrifying enemy in the game, because they can do something that pretty much nobody else can, and that's pick up items. Not only pick up items, but use those items against you. I can't even see this enemy. Um, I, 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 I didn't even, okay, it's dead, it's dead. I didn't miss, you didn't see anything. With this mod by Team Papega, we can now play as the scavenger. Now I know there's some situations like void fields or, or simulacrum, I think, where normal enemies can use items, but for the most part, these are gonna be the terrifying ones, the run killers. And playing it ourselves, they're incredibly slow. You can see I have 3,600 base HP, or no, 3,800 base HP at level one. I'm not at any risk of dying, but I can't move. And I actually don't even deal that much damage. This thing has so much bloom. I say that as I one-shot that thing, that it's very hard to aim. But don't worry, because I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm spoiling this entire video, because this is the single most ridiculous, powerful, ludicrous, broken, whatever other adjective you wanna use, mod that I have ever played. And it gets to be that way very, very quickly. The curve from, oh yeah, no, this is kind of funny. This is like, you know, you're, you're shooting some enemies. You're not really dying. You don't have risk of dying, but it's fun. It's fun, fun to just goof around with a mod. No, this gets absurd. And the whole reason why it gets absurd is because one of my three moves makes it go from, eh, you know, I'm dealing some damage, I'm shooting some guys, to I am an unstoppable killing machine that just farms items at a rapid pace. All right there, I got an ATG. And the way that this works is that you're gonna pick up five, five white items, uh, or you could pick up two greens or one red. And I believe the rarity is the same as a small chest. You could read that whole thing. I don't know how to read, so. All right, why is this run so absurd? Well, it's a matter of RNG of getting one single item. So maybe I wait a little bit, but we can see hints of it right there with that damage I'm dealing, because getting gas as my second item was actually incredibly lucky. And this entire run hinges on one thing, the thquib. I didn't say that weird, you saw how it's spelled. How else are you supposed to pronounce that, thquib? I don't know. Because thquibs have a unique property that I don't really see all too often and things that aren't like, forgive me please which is that when you use your mouse two, when you just click mouse two, you activate all of your on kill effects. Not on hit effects, not on hit like ATG, no. On kill effects. And so my gas right now, five gas, every time I use that mouse two, is being activated by each and every one of the 10 that I throw. So, okay, that's already pretty powerful. And the whole thing that I said at the beginning about, oh, I'm actually not that strong, completely subverted by getting this gas right away, by the way, that's total RNG. Most of the time it takes, uh, you know, a decent chunk of time to kill the boss, the first teleporter boss. I think right now it won't be too much of an issue. Also incredibly slow, but slow. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm moving incredibly slowly and then I'm very slow at the same time. So that's already lucky and you can already see shades of the power. But if you're thinking critically, analytically, and you got some knowledge about some of the items in Risk of Rain 2 in the back of your mind, then you might be like, oh no, oh no, I see where this is going. And if not, don't you worry, don't you worry, because then you're in for a jolly surprise. Now, I would love to be surprised with the teleporter. There it is, okay. I'm gonna just make my way over there. You know what, maybe I got some goat hooves. Maybe I got some goat hooves. <laughs> All right, that's, that's very different, but that helps me out because that means I get three of these charges now. Three of those charges isn't actually gonna be that big of a deal because I'm just gonna use it off cooldown anyway so I can get as many items as possible. There's the movement speed, thank you very much game. At the start of the stage though, it'll be helpful. And I'm gonna make my way over to this teleporter ever so slowly. Look at how cute I am, by the way. Scavengers, kind of adorable. Their eyes, I don't know if you can see this, but their eyes are below right there. And I got some topaz brooches as well. 10 topaz brooches, which means, oh, topaz brooch? On, on kill effect, <laughs> couldn't say that word. Yeah. Every time I use my mouse too, of which I have six now, I get some barrier. So if I was already not at risk of dying, I am certainly not at risk of dying now. Tougher times, all right? I, I mean, even more survivability. That's great. Tri-tip daggers. Don't think I needed any more crit or bleed chance, rather. 
but that's okay. Let's activate this teleporter. Wait, what was it giving me an indicator for? A gunner drone. Um, don't think I really needed that. More tougher times, all right. I'm just searching for one item. And let me tell you, when I get that one item, I'm not exaggerating, it's gonna turn this run from, from good, not only from good to great, from good to the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in this game. Let's just, let's just throw some of these squibs out and deal some, <laughs> deal some absurd fire damage. 40 stacks, by the way, on stage one, and even more ATGs. Not that it matters, but if this was a normal run, I'd be loving that, uh, that RNG right there. All right, let's move on. Stage one, let's say that I'm pretty broken. All right, let, let's, let, let, we can admit this. I'm already pretty powerful. Now I've done like three scavenger runs and most of the time my stage one, I actually kind of suck. I'm actually not that strong. And let me emulate it by getting rid of all of my gas. Okay, let me get rid of all of my topaz brooches too. I can't even, I can't even like use the scrapper. I'm too large. All right, let me get rid of all of these and show you about the power that I, that I should be at, you know? Because uh, all of those on on kill effects, it's a bit much. It's a bit much. Um, actually, let me get some. <laughs> all right, let me get some more of those. Ten backup mags is actually kind of crazy now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, I'm not dealing that much. I mean, I got the bleed down. That's kind of nice. I got some more energy drinks. I really am just wasting time picking those up. All right, more speed. Love to see more speed. And uh, and once again, it's all about one single item. Not gonna spoil it. I know, I know I get excited in these things, I spoil things a bit too much, but I know people like- Alright, I guess I'm playing with gas. <laughs> I guess I'm playing with gas. What is this? Little Disciple. Not that I have any yellows anyway, but... But that's alright, that's cool to see. Kiaro's Ban. Alright, also cool to see. What is this green gonna be? Shipping Request Form from a Shipping Request Form. I actually just solved Economics. Alright. Where is this teleporter? It's up there. I'm gonna do a bit of perusing because I would like a different equipment, and I changed my mind. I actually just want to go right to the teleporter right away because I, uh, I I don't really care too much about picking up items, if I'm gonna be honest. It's inefficient, it's slow. Why spend the time walking over to a crate when I can just wait on my cooldown and I can get five crates, okay? Ever think about that? I have 127 <laughs> items. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that's... Oh, uh, I love getting crates, actually. Now that I think about it, crates are great. No, 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 crates are fantastic. Let's see how much my mouse one does now with 15 of these tri-tips. But yeah, you can see, oh, with the exception of the ATGs, oh my god. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say I'm not that powerful, but you could, you could see what I'm saying, alright? Without all of these, uh, these, like, stacking proc chains, the amount of power that my individual shot has is not that crazy. The only thing is that you just, like, won't die ever. But there are stages where killing the boss takes forever, or runs, I should say. But with the amount of power that I have this quickly, yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case. Let me get a buzzer beater in there. Wax quill. Excellent. Stage three now. Okay. Still have yet to see the insane item. But once again, power creep is beginning. Let me get three of these. And, uh, and, and we're off to the races. I'm already quite a bit quicker. And my <laughs> ability to just toss out insane levels of, uh, of fire damage is astounding. Okay, where are these last two enemies? Oh, they're up here somewhere. I can't even see them. You think this will kill? You think this will kill them? Yes, it will. No, excellent. That's awesome. I would love more sticky bombs too. That's that's great. Um, void potential. I can't even like see it. Sure, give me a Berserker's Pauldron. Give me a Berserker's Pauldron. Why not? Because then I use that and I get faster. More move speed is great. Uh, Wungus, you know what? More healing too. I really needed that too. Monster Tooth. Oh, check this out. Ready? Every single one of these orbs heals me for 1600 health and another shipping request for him. All right, I'm starting to I'm starting to pick up. I'm starting to cook a little bit. Apparently the new altar is there. I never knew that. That's great. More healing. Don't really think I needed that. I can't like make it over this ledge and uh, I can't even see what's here. Will of the wisp. All right. That's an uh that's an on kill effect. <laughs> okay. Starting to pick up the pace a little bit more than I initially thought I was picking up the pace. The pace is getting to be a bit much another void potential there personal shield generator. I'm just waiting. I'm just, trust me, you will know what, when I get it. You can think to yourself right now, how, how could he be even more powerful? How? How is it possible that the rate at which he is gaining power could be any more extreme than it already is? But oh, my sweet summer child, you have no idea. Did I just pick up needle tick? I have 16 stacks of needle tick. That's, that's awesome, actually. That's great. 
Uh, what do I want out of this? A vase would be excellent, actually. That way I could traverse the map without any worry. Let me just pick up some of these big crates. I'm looking for a green. Not that green, but I am looking for a green. So actually, getting big crates would be would be worth it. And in fact, you know what would be even more worth it? Would be... <laughs> Alright, ukuleles for even, even more damage. Why not? Uh, getting something like... What is it called? The Gore's Tomb? Gore's Tome? Because that's an on-kill effect. And maybe I could just farm money infinitely. That would be that would be helpful a little bit. Cautious slug. Wow. I'm actually not really getting that lucky, I'm gonna be honest with you. I would have thought I would have seen the item by now. I I guess I can say it starts with a B. And it ends with Um, I can't spell. I Okay, now I'm actually starting to get a little bit frustrated, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that by now, surely, surely I would have seen the insane power. But I also cannot even complain because half of my 29,675 HP right now comes from one single item and I just obliterated the boss and my game is starting to lag. I think apparently I'm already summoning the big bad guy. So that's awesome. Um, I think I just took collapse damage. Don't think it mattered. The void, the void seed is already like dead. It's, it's our, you know what? It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, the bandolier. I'm actually gonna stay in this little hut, my little home here, because I just wanna show you what happens when I use my mouse too. Bandolier is an on-kill effect that resets your cooldowns when you pick it up. So I can mouse two, and then I can mouse five, and then I can pick up as many items as I want. So we're gonna see I have 300 items, I'm just gonna hold down mouse two. I'm gonna hold down mouse five. And all of a sudden, I have 332 items. Now, if I just stay in this corner and keep hurling over and over and over again, it appears that I've stacked up enough gas that I summon the alloy worship unit. And it appears that my item counter is uh, <laughs> it's starting to expand a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I was talking about when I said the power creep would get crazy. Now it appears that I suddenly got a Dios, so even if I die somehow, uh, there's nothing to worry about. But let's just see. How many items do you think I have now? Because the answer is 804. I, I killed it. I killed it as I was tabbed. This is the scavenger. And brilliant behemoth. All right, awesome. I, how many Horde Light Afterburners do I have to, to do that so much? Actually, let's just see. Let's just see. Um, <laughs> I didn't even fulfill all of my... Alright, I have seven. I have seven mouse fives. Another needle tick. Awesome. You know what? Let me just use this. Oh, all of a sudden, 906 items. Oh, no, no, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, all of a sudden, 942. Let's, let's get to 1,000. Let's get to 1,000 items. 988, almost there. And we're there. D did I get... I think I got the gold thing while I was there, the Gore's Tome. Yeah, no, I definitely did. I, I definitely did. Let's uh, let's find this teleport. <laughs> let's find this. I can't, let's find this teleporter. I can't move. You know, I actually I need an equip. I need like the the wings. That's what I. I'm too big. <laughs> Look at me just jutting around. <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is this is the. I love mods. I love mods. I like. <laughs> When game companies that I shall not name, but start with an N and end with an Nintendo, and it's Nintendo, hate their modders, it's such a shame. It's such a shame. Because imagine you're playing Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and you're playing as like Dark Beast Ganon or whatever it's gonna be in that game, and just zooming around the map. It's so fun. It's so fun. Now, there is a novelty to it. Of course, it'll wear off just being in <laughs> incredibly broken at all times. You know, won't necessarily last long. Can I land on this guy's head? The answer is no. I don't even know what killed it. Like, I... I, <laughs> I you can't even tell. You can't even tell. I, you know what's crazy? Is I don't have a Hapu Feather. Hopu Feather. Or, I don't know, Gearbox Feather? Is that is that what it'd be called now? I don't know if it's even in, like, the item pool for this. Maybe not. Because surely I should have gotten it by now, right? Like, there's no way if it was actually here... Yeah, there's there's no way, right? There's there's no way the feathers in here. Yeah, I definitely. What are the odds out of 1,464 that I don't run into it a single time? You know what I'm saying? Is it easy? I would have to loop if I do this, right? You know what? I'm good. I'm good. I think 
I think what we've seen what we need to see, and I would love to get something to skip pillars, but I think I can probably just walk up a rock and I'll zoom all the way to Mithrix. And why not get an extra item there? Like I I can't I can't even look at the map properly. Actually I would love a Hobu Feather though. It'll give me some more control. Um not not anywhere to be found here. That's okay. That's okay. Surely, surely it'll be <laughs> Every time I use my mouse too and I just walk over an area, it's like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna be doing this for a little bit. That's fine. All right. Um, I cannot control my character. This is, like, help me. Please, please. Wait, what am I talking about? I have an eccentric base. Can I not even make it up here with this? Okay. I thought maybe. I think I'm clipping, I'm, I'm clipping into- <laughs> That was a jump! That was a single jump from a wax quail! Like... Oh, it must have been the Tesla coil that killed the thing. Alright, how many do I have? I have eight? It's like... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna pick up some items while I'm here. I'm gonna shoot once. Yeah... Alright. Alright, Mithrix. Alright, Myth... What? There's a war <laughs> There's a war banner in the middle of the screen. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this is, uh, this is... <laughs> this is scavenger. I got some more, some more wax quails. Look at, look at my extreme platforming skill, I say, as I run direct. Okay, do you think I can just... I don't know how to, like, properly glitch the, the momentum and, like, zoom up things. But, uh, I don't think it matters. Like, what is this noise I'm hearing? Is that the Wungus? That must be the Wungus. Can I like, if I run up this? I'm like, I'm gliding. I'm CSGO surfing. All right, let me, uh, let me make a commentary video and then let's jump up to the top of the map. I, should I artifact of, or no, what is it? Shrine of order? <laughs> should I do that? Maybe, maybe. Oh, all right. Well, I figured it out. <laughs> I figured, oh, I'm not gonna make it though. Am I? Ain't no way. All right, I can't, okay, okay. Almost though. That's crazy. I walked back. I walked backward like a little bit. Do you think if I just stand here, he dies? <laughs> what is this image? <laughs> okay, bye bye. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pick up items. Yeah, no. I'm just gonna. I think I accidentally killed them all with the gas. Yeah. Yeah. No. This. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Final phase, or did I kill him before the final phase? Oh, uh-oh. Um, okay, I might be in danger, actually. I might, I'm, 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 I might be in danger. How many? I, I just gave Mithrix a thousand items. Um. Um. I'm a little worried, actually. I have 15 infusions. If he hits me one time, I die, right? Those shurikens are crazy. Please! I don't know why I'm shooting so fast now. Wait a second. Hold on. This went from. This went from. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> Get me out! Get me out of here! Um, this is a little. Wait, are those his? Are those his or mine? This is a little worrying. Get me out of here. <laughs> Wait, wait, I got bandolier. I got bandolier. I got bandolier. I got bandolier. <gasps> oh my god. Get me in this little pocket. I got bandolier. I got bandolier. This is winnable. This is so winnable. I have 70 broken watches. <laughs> Give me more items, please. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to fight him. Like, I can't hit him. The bloom of this is so big. Let me, let me just chuck these. They went nowhere! Okay, this is actually one of the most terrifying Mythrix <gasps> fights I've ever had! Okay, okay, he's damaging himself. I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in. <gasps> yeah. Okay, okay. I'm a little embarrassed about the noises I made in the end of that fight, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> there it is! There it is. Where is the where's the shrine of order? Let's let's find this thing. Let's see what the faded run has given me. Oh my god, can I I can't see where the platform is. 
But if I make this, I'm a, I'm a god gamer. And if I don't make it, I'm still a god gamer. Right? <laughs> right? Boom! 1,537 tougher times. I have taken absolutely zero damage this entire time. That is the scavenger. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. I probably won't ever do that again, but boy was that fun.